All right, so in this video, we will learn how to go to a different activity once the users have tapped on each item. So what do we need to do right now? We're gonna go ahead and create a new, let's go close all of these. We're gonna go ahead and create a new activity. So right click inside of our package here. And we're gonna go ahead and say activity. We are going to have an empty activity like that. Let's call this details activity. Okay, that looks good. Say finish and perfect. Now we have two activities. So this is the activity that will receive the items from the previous activity. So let's go back to our, we do have a lot of things. Let's close a few items here. That way we're not confused. Details, there we go. We got our details here. Let's open that one and work on it real quick. So for now, we're gonna make it a little bit simpler. Uh, what do we need to do here? Let's just go ahead and put a text per se. Okay, we're gonna just put a few text views here. The first text view we're gonna put, gonna be right about here. We're gonna be, let's go ahead and make sure it's center there. All right, that looks good. I'm gonna give it an ID of, I'm gonna call this D for details, name ID. So make it a bigger font, say so size. About 18, that looks good, perfect. And uh, let's get rid of the text because we really don't want that. So this text here, it's gonna be empty. Delete that. There we go, there's nothing there. I'm gonna do the same here. I'm gonna put another one right about here. It's gonna be below. That's good. There we go, right there. This is gonna be D description. D, that's good. And last but not least, I'm gonna put the next one right about there. It's gonna be rating. Yes, you guessed it. Okay, rating, that's fine. It's gonna be D, rating, ID, perfect. We want we can go ahead and get rid of all this stuff but that's fine let's go rid of the text too i think all the there we go perfect good as you can see nothing really um, interesting happening here let's change click on the constraint layout and let's go ahead and change the background color just because we can right uh, let's go here. So let's say color. Let's change to something like that. How about that? Very nice. Well, since we did that, let's go ahead and make sure that all of the colors. Let me see here. Let me click on the add name. I just want to make sure that the colors don't overpower the, the text color. Give it a little text here. I just want to see what color. Okay, that's not bad. All right, that's not bad at all. And it did show, that's fine. Okay, there we go. We are back. So we have our details. So we have our activity details done here. Now all we need to do is to go back to our adapter, my adapter here, and set things up. So we know how to go from activity A to activity B. And we also have seen before how to pass um, information from one activity to the other. So that's exactly what we are going to be doing here. So in inside of our own click view here on click method under our view holder, the first thing we're going to do is to create an intent. Okay, because that's what we need to go from our activity current activity to the second activity. So we're going to say intent, we're going to call this intent is equal to new intent. Now we have to pass in a context here, right? We usually pass in the name of the activity, but in this case, we already have a context that we're gonna be passing, which is this context 
uh, from our my adapter class okay so what we're going to do we're going to just pass that one here because that one is this context here will be the context of the activity that will be hosting the entire this entire application which means it's going to be this main activity here but since we are in our adapter we have to pass in the context here okay so the next thing we need to pass is the activity we're going to so in this case it's going to be details there it is dot class that's perfect now that we created our intent now we have to add few things inside of this intent the things we need to add is the information that we are getting from our description name and rating right so how do we do that we're going to go and say intent like something is not right it's equal there there we go so we're going to say intent dot put extra as you can see here is a key value pair here so we give it a key which in this case is going to be could be a string or whatever in this case it's going to be a string and a value which will also be a string so what are we going to do we're going to say the key is going to be name like that and the value is going to be item dot get name just like that okay, and we'll do the same with others so intent that put extra and we are going to have description what is the actual value? It's going to be item dot get description. Okay, let's keep going. Intent that put extra. It's going to be rating, and it's going to be item dot get rating. Perfect. So now we have that, and what we need to do now is start the activity. So we're going to say context dot start activity. Now notice something here. We cannot just go and say start activity because it knows nothing about start activity method here, right? Because remember, we are inside of our my adapter. It's this is not an activity. So it doesn't have all those methods that an activity class has, right? Because if you look around, you don't see anything re resembling activity here, okay? So for that, that means we have to go through the context. So we say context dot start activity. And what do we do? We pass our intent, okay? So now if we save this, let's go ahead and run. We should be able to see the second activity if all goes well. All right, let's go ahead and say item two and look at that. There it is, our second activity. Go back one and nice. But again, you may say, well, okay, we did that, but how come we're not seeing, you know, we're pushing all this information to our second activity, but we're not really seeing anything here. Well, the reason why is because we haven't done anything here in our details activity. Okay, so the first thing we need to do, if we go back to our activity details, there's a few items here, three to be precise, that we have to instantiate. So we do the same here, say private. It's going to be a text view. All of them are actually. Uh, first is name, private. In fact, since all of them are gonna be of the same type, I'm gonna show you another way of doing it. We're going to create all in one line. So it's gonna be name, comma, and it's going to be description, comma, and rating, comma. So we're able to do this, although it's not very, I don't like doing like this, but since we are talking about name, description, and rating, and they're all of the same type, text view, in this case, we can put all of them in one line, just like this, separated by commas. Perfect, so we have all of that. And inside here, we're gonna go and instantiate all of them. So we're gonna say name, text view, find view, r.id dot, what is this name, D name ID. Okay, and the reason why I put D name ID, this D stands for details. That, that way I know we talk about details, okay? And description, find view, r.id dot, description, and rating, this should be rating on reading. Okay, typo there, rating. Oops, text view. 
find a view by id r dot id rating like that perfect okay so at the top here we are going to create another instance variable it's going to be a bundle so we can call bundle call this extras okay and at the top here we are going to say extras it's going to be equal to now we're going to say get intent dot get extras so now this extras here holds all of these items that we have put in our intent okay so we have a way to go and fetch it. So the first thing we need to do here, I'm going to go ahead, I always check, so say if extras is not null, okay, just make sure, because it happens, it may happen, then we are ready to do. So what we're going to do, we can say name dot set text, we're going to say extras dot get string, the key it's going to be name okay what is it description dot set text we say extras dot get string and pass description description there we go okay and last but not least we're gonna say rating dot set text and we say extras dot get string rating I think make sure that we all of them are description yeah perfect everything looks good okay so now if we go ahead and run this we should be able to see there we go let's go item one whoops something is not working what is going on all right so I think so the problem here is very interesting is that I did not follow what I just told you here so as you can see if you look at our IDs here I say D name ID I did this specifically to make sure that I know I'm talking about the the name ID for our details not for our main activity so here the problem is I am referencing the ID from from our list row these IDs here which is exactly what you don't want to do that's why we have any issues because the system is saying well I don't know which ID that's not an ID that is connected to our activity details that's why we're having that error so if we change this to D that description ID and the rating say D that rating ID and save this give it a run we should actually see this working as it should Let's run one once again there we go there we go item one description excellent Let's see item six description excellent okay wonderful this is great it's working item nine description excellent so you can see now we are able to fetch each items or each rows information and pass it all to our details activity very cool very cool and of course this is a very simplified of version of the things that we can do now that we understand recycle view and how to use them along with card views right this is, was a great introduction go ahead and play around with this concept again i would also urge you to go back and rewatch this video this section because it can be a little bit tough uh, and i i have to confess the first time uh, when i was learning android development list views as they were called back then and you can still use them today list views was a very uh, hard concept to grasp at first because you know you have to understand that it's it's about adapters and it's about the data set and connecting all together to make things work all right so i'll see you in the next video where we will continue building more applications feature these things that we are learning and specifically the recycler view okay i'll see you next